Okay, Bino Black here, folks, and there it is. We're at Niermeyer webcam today, uh, and we've been showing you this in the past, and it's just gotten clearer and clearer and clearer, and you're going to see the big dark shadow of more than likely the star. And what's interesting is that star may be bright on, like, one side or something, or there is another object, or it's just this object here that we have found in the Chinese footage and the U.S. space shuttle footage. Uh, I.e. my last two videos, actually the last three. Uh, I'm gonna eventually going to get to the close objects, but the idea that Nehemiah Station is showing it big time tonight. You can see it right there, and we'll play it through. I just got to this and seen that, and bam, I'm going to just save it, record this. In I.E. of shadows, folks, that you can see this, the snow right here, and you're going to see star cluster or asteroids in the snow and no it's not going to be the glistening of snow like you normally see of sunlight you're going to see an actual reflection of star clusters or asteroid belt out in space now watch this you don't see anything there now watch watch see that and no that's not the snow glistening and if you see you can see how big they are so you're getting a nice impregnation of what's out there here and you know by looking at that right there, you know that it's a reflection from space. Okay, constellation. Now, it is normally 24, almost 24 7 daylight down there this time of year. So, they get a short period of darkness. And i.e., you've seen the one guy going back into the. There you go. One dude going back into the station. And you're also going to see this gigantic shadow of an object. Now, watch that. There it is. You also seen it over here a minute ago, okay? And this is the biggest object down there, folks, okay? And it's not on motors, and it's not running around. It gets dragged by tugs. Check this big monster shadow, and p other people have showed you this before, too. So, something bigger and crap up there in the sky, huh? And no, folks, it's not an iceberg floating by. And I'm going to go back here a little bit. And you can also see there. Is it the tetrahydrons? Or is it... What object? Planet shadow? And yes, you see a snow mover or something here. But that's not creating the shadow over here and the shadow over there. It's not doing it. It's something in space. Something up in the sky. Okay, you're going to see that poop, purple little pooper again. And I'm just going to hit play. So you guys can play around with it, because I just started looking at this myself. Now, I know I noticed when I first showed up on it, that the idea that you could also see a dark shadows up here and along the building, too. So I'll just hit play. I'll just hit refresh button to have a little play through. And it's going to go really fast. Now, there went that purple node. So I'll go back to the beginning after we let it play through once. So you know I'm not trying to fake you out. And here's it playing through. I might see something too if we're looking at back there. There's that purple note again. So this is my first time watching it. This could be two different days. It could have been the 6th that it came up and the 7th. So I'll play it when I refresh it, I'll know. In fact, I think it's playing so fast. See that shadow? There it comes the big monster again in the other direction. Or maybe it was for me backing up. There's a big monster shadow down there. So, as soon as it gets to the end. Okay, and I think if it goes right back through or something, you'll see that purple. There's that purple known again. So, all these people trying to say, oh, it's a camera doing it and stuff like that? It's not. It's the exact object that we see on... And I'll probably get time on this one since we're only at four minutes. I'll be able to get to the close objects in space. And there's that shadow. You can see it come up on the building before it even comes up on the ground. And you can see the observers walk out and look at it, too. I just noticed the observatory deck there. If we go back and play it back, you'll see them come out and look. And there's that purple note again. So at the end, I'll come try to back and capture that purple note again, but we got it pretty good. So. 
Okay, I just hit refresh and it'll start out the seventh, goes to the sixth and the eighth. So and you've seen that it's, it's it every morning it comes up with the sun. There it is again. So okay, you can see it pretty good at this size and you can see the time. So I I'm gonna go down here and adjust it. So you know we are not changing the time. I'm gonna back it up. And there you go. It's in front of that sun there, which is basically both of them, i.e. both of them, bigger, see, burns through first, baby sun, and then a little bastard in front of it, i.e. there, it almost looks like two, as if we get that there down there, check that out, okay. See if we can catch it behind the station. No, it doesn't look like we can catch it coming up behind the station. All right, and finally we got more than one sun. Watch this. Massive. Watch the skyline. Up here, right. Now watch over here. There's the sun. Okay. So if this is our big sun here, or our Alaraf, or maybe how big it was a little bit ago, if we got three, but you have a sun right there. That's probably our baby sun that we've been seeing from the China and the U.S. footage of the space shuttle. And here it comes up. There it is. Now keep in mind that there it is, okay, I'm going to go back one step, there it is, you see, but you've already got this up here, okay, so stepping forward, there, that sun goes there, we've got a sun up there, and it doesn't rise that fast, because you didn't see it come up here either, and then bam, there's our object in front of our baby sun, there's our object. There it is again. Let me back it up. There you go, as it's riding. And it ends up being the full sun, right? Okay, but what happened to our... That's our big sun there. What happened to our little sun? Okay. So there's our baby son. Baby son's down there, big one's up top. And our object comes up in front of the big sun on top. So i.e. the Chinese in the space shuttle footage. And there's our object rising in front of the big sun like we've seen in the footage on the Chinese footage and the space shuttle footage. There's our looks purplish down there, doesn't it? And there it is as it goes away. And we've seen footage before. We showed you the photographs before, but lots of people have. And then I'll just hit this play. I'll refresh it, and you'll be able to see that dark object also come across during the daytime. There's that sunshine, and then here comes a dark object. Comes all the way across the building. Antarctic. Okay, so let's go to the footage of close objects. Because this should have been able to play through to you guys all the way through. And like I say, it's normally 23 hours plus, almost 24 hours solid. And there it goes across again. And that's the 6th. You got her on the 7th. And you can go down 2nd Nehemiah 24 hour movie. You can check it out. Oh, there comes our purple blob again, the seventh. Okay, once again, here's our plot of this morning, 6 a.m. 
will try to give us another plot. Basically, Jupiter, Mars, Saturn. So I'll try to get a 1 o'clock, 1 a.m., because we're going to see this. So this, I believe, is like at 1 a.m. in the morning, New Mexico sky. So, biggest object? Yeah, this should be Jupiter. But what the hell is this? Okay. And we triangulation. So, sure the hell looks like Nyamp. Nibiru or that blue planet a twin to Nibiru Nemesis is behind the Sun we know it's for all you about watch my other video here I'll show you the close object real fast it'll come up right there you go hit play again this was the close object there okay let's go to the data okay first off we're gonna show you this way far back 337.800 AU out, okay? It's going to be the seventh object of the data of the day. We're going to go down to the bottom since we're close, and I'll scroll up, and you got the data for the day for the close objects. And yeah, we had at uh, 0 0.070, I mean 0 0.071 AU, and 0 0.062 AU, so there was some close stuff today. Plus, we were supposed to have the big one and the fast one out there. Okay, the object we were looking at, the close object, was this one at 132, and it was only 0 0.228 IU out, okay? So there's the time, and we're going to go to the star chart. Okay, so here's the sky chart, the constellations, and basically the moon would have been southerly there, and Jupiter. So those are our two big objects. So the Jupiter is fake, uh, moon is faking us out. More than likely, it's the one with the big potholes. So that's what we had. We had the moon and Jupiter. But still, no matter what, there is our baby star, our baby sun right there. Because the sun is not in the New Mexico sky at 1.19 UTC time. Okay? It's just not. Okay, because this is New Mexico S State University. Okay, NM NMSU 05A. Okay, it's weird. This should be the moon here. This should be Jupiter. It really should be the moon because it looks like we're getting the dark potholes, the craters in the moon. But if not, we have the triangulation and the idea that let's go to that star chart real fast. When I'm looking at the star chart, the moon should be lower. So the idea that this is just at 1 a.m. and it was taken at 1.19 a.m. So the idea, I sure think that's Jupiter since it's just big and it also could be there. But the idea, this is probably our dark leader again right here of and or possibly this is it and then this was the moon because it sure makes sense that this is the moon down here lower it sure looked to us that yesterday evening that it looked a lot bigger so the idea that this is probably the moon Jupiter the Jupiter is supposed to be leading the moon and this should be the southeast quadrant. Okay, it appears and leaves in the northwest quadrant. Let's go to the video. So this is northwest here. Northwest here. Okay. This is northwest because that's where it left and appeared at. Okay. So if you paid attention to yesterday's, the idea that this is more than likely the moon, it just shows up big because it's close. And this is Jupiter because it's following and it's right here on the map. Because <coughs> I went ahead and went to 130 to see the movement and that movement at 1.30 a.m. on the 7th it corresponds to the idea that moving to the west and we know that it w that the plot showed us that it goes northwest so the idea that this is moving to the northwest this way legal disclaimer